Rogers. Yuck. Howdy Brewers. If you wonder what we're up to today, we're going to talk a little bit about chlorine in our water, um, some of the off flavours it can cause, and how to get rid of it. One of the best ways to get rid of, if you know your town water only has chlorine in it, one of the best ways, and uh, easiest ways to get it out is to make sure you get a lot of bubbles in your water because it'll come out in the gas form pretty quickly. Um, at the moment where I live, there's a bit of a water shortage and so they're having to treat the water with more chlorine uh, and even some chloramine to um, help keep the taste or the, or the bugs out so no one gets crook. Now you can buy a filter if you like, but this is a way, um, if you don't have access to buying a filter or you don't want to spend the money, these are some cheaper ways to get around it. So what you can do now is I've got the bucket filled with water. You can leave that for a few hours. Uh, they say overnight uh, is plenty of time. Leave it, leave it out and by the time you make your brew after about four to six hours, um, all the chlorine gas will have escaped. However, if you haven't, um, if, you, if your water supply has chloramines in it, that's much more stable and it won't come out in a gas form. So uh, some filters don't get, get don't get rid of chloramines um, out of the out of the water when you filter them, unless you go really really slow. Here I have 0.3 of a gram of sodium metabisulfite, which you can buy at any home brew shop for a sanitizer. But you sprinkle that in. dissolve it and that pretty much gets rid of all the chloramines out of the water and you can brew straight away. Now I know people out there are can a little worried about sodium metabisulfate. They say it's a carcinogen. Well anything that you saw any any alcohol you see with sulfites in it, like wine or even some beers, they have they will give you a warning contain sulfites so if it's good enough for wine and some beers why isn't it good enough for home brew well the, the truth is it is good enough for home brew and I recommend you use it so that's it for this week's talk um, until next time happy brewing